Hey everyone and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about a landing page trigger. Before we get started, as always these videos are brought to you by my Udemy course on Google Tag Manager. You can find out more about this at gtmtraining.com slash YouTube where you'll also get a little bit of a discount for this course. But now let's get into the landing page trigger and this really originated from my last video which was about adjusting the bounce rate and i got a very smart question from stephen gold who asked why should we trigger this event on every page when the bounce rate is really just calculated on the first page on the landing page and this is a fair question i didn't include it into the last tutorial but in this tutorial we want to adjust our trigger so it only triggers on the landing page and we actually got a very good answer from Gustavo who wrote us down the rule that we will implement. So now let's look at the problem. Now the landing page is naturally the first page within a session. So it would be the first page that you see once you enter the site. And this landing page is very important because we can evaluate the path of the user and optimize our first impression of our website on this page. Now, if you want to trigger any tags on a specific page, now if you want to narrow down our trigger towards one of these pages, we would naturally do it through the URL. So a URL contains this, please trigger this tag. And this is really easy in Google Tag Manager because we have these properties attached to the pages and we can access them through variables, through the default variables that are already inside of Google Tag Manager. A little bit of a problem with Google Tag Manager is that we can't really look at the session. We can't really evaluate, is this the first page that he saw or the last page that he saw or the third or the second page. Now there are workarounds that we could use in order to evaluate that, we could set a cookie and then read out of this cookie which page he actually visited and evaluate the session through that. But it's really a workaround and if you're familiar with cookies, this can lead to problems if somebody clears his cookies, goes away from the page and so on. So we really want to work with the properties that are available to Google Tag Manager. And one variable that every page view has in Google Tag Manager is the referrer. And every page view has this referrer. It just shows in where the user just came from. Now we can use this referrer to actually identify the landing page because the referrer probably will show an external site that you just came from in order to access this site and not the normal internal referrer. And that way we can identify the landing page and build a trigger around this. So let's take a look how we would install this in Google Tag Manager. Back in our Google Tag Manager account, I first want to show you how this variable gets filled. So when we go to variables, we have the referrer variable available to us. And in order to actually see how it gets filled, we can go into the preview and debug mode and go to our page and reload this. And we get our page view and on the variables, we can see the referrer. Where did we just came from? Now I reloaded this page. So if I click on this Happy Ninja product and go to page view again on the variables, you'll see we just came from the home page. And if you go on to the checkout. Let's check this again. Click on the page view event and we see that we just came from the product Happy Ninja. Now, what would happen with the referral when we come from an external site? Let's go over to GTM Training. I have made up a site here with a private link to the demo shop. Let's click on that. Wait for the console to load and we go to page view again. And now we see that the referrer is gtmtraining.com. So not 
demoshop.com or anything that has to do with demoshop.com. And that's what we're gonna base our rule out upon. So let's make up a new rule in Google Tag Manager. We go over to the triggers and add a new trigger. Now this trigger is based on the event page view. So we'll click on page view and we want to actually add a filter to only trigger this upon a referrer that does not contain the domain demoshop.com. And that's basically everything that's to it. You can continue. You can give it an appropriate name. And save this trigger so we can use it in our tags. So now we are free to use our landing page trigger within certain tags. Um, let's just make up a new tag that fires only on the landing page. For example, an event, a Google Analytics event that shows us the landing page. So let's try out by going into creating a new tag. We'll click on Google Analytics. It will be a Google Analytics event. I'll choose Universal Analytics because that's what we have installed. And then we get to the triggers. And let's choose our just created trigger, the landing page. Save that. Continue. Give this tag a name. and choose our tracking ID. I have this, of course, in a variable, stored in a variable, and we want to trigger an event. And that event is just landing page. And as an action, we'll choose the page path. So we actually know, okay, the user entered here, and the page path will be dynamically inserted with this variable. So let's create this tag and go into the preview and debug mode. And let's click around here and see if our tag actually fires. No, it hasn't fired. We click on another tab with an internal referrer. It still hasn't fired. We can actually look up why this hasn't fired. So let's look into the rule. And here we see that the referrer does contain demoshop.com and that's why it's not fired. Now let's try out the obvious. Let's go to back to our GTM training link and click on this. And we'll see that our landing page event has been fired. And once we click into it, we can see that the rule has validated. Oops, actually need to go into page view, we go into landing page again. And then we see that the trigger has been set. Everything is as expected. It doesn't contain demoshop.com and that's why this trigger fired our tag. Now there are some downsides to this approach. Obviously we're not really looking into the session and if somebody comes from a different website and his session is basically still open. This will also be seen as a landing page by defined by our rule. Although it's not really the landing page, it's not really the first page of the session. And that's it for this week's video. If you have any questions or concerns or suggestions for the next video, please put them into the comments below. And if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll bring out another video by next week. 
Thanks, I'm Julian, till next time. So now let's get started with scroll tracking within GTM. And in order to, and what we'll do in this little tutorial is implement a custom HTML tag, which will basically act as our event listener in Google Tag Manager. And when somebody's, but now let's get started talking about bounce rate. So the bounce rate is often seen as this metric to evaluate landing pages. So does the traffic that hits my page actually stick around or leave the page? There's actually a little bit of a problem here with the bounce rate because the way that is defined in Google Analytics. Let's have a look. So bounce in.